Hi everyone, welcome to Sharissa's Craft Corner, and today we are going to make a nine square scarf. Alright, so I got my nine square scarf and hat on. You see, it's kind of cute. And to make a hat, you might want to make five granny squares and sell them on with the same color yarn as each four of the granny squares except for the board of the hat. I'm just wearing this just to demonstrate the project, so let's get started! Okay, so the first thing you're going to need are some Red Heart Super Saver balls of yarn in five colors. Gold, Lavender, Black, Burgundy and blue. Now it doesn't have to be the same colors that I'm using. You can use whatever colors you like. The next thing you're going to need is a crochet hook. Now what I use for my project is a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. But you can use a bigger one if you want a pair of scissors make sure the blades are sharp and a yarn needle for later okay to get started you're going to have to chain four like so then join with slip stitch and first chain to form a ring I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's really a ring. Okay, once you have your ring, you're going to make three chains. One, two, three. This counts as your first double crochet in the first round. Okay, so what I mean is that you're going to do two double crochets after you chain three, like so. Once you have chain 3, you're going to repeat the entire process until you get around the ring. Okay, so once you got the half of the square finished, you're going to go ahead and make a slip stitch on the in the first chain. Once you have finished this square, you want to take the yarn needle, put the yarn through the needle eye, and sew the end off to make a neater edge. And there you have it one complete square when you add more rows to your project the bigger the square is going to get so I'm going to tell you what to do when you have different colored yarns now here's what I mean when I'm talking about the pattern if you look carefully that each different colored yarn has a letter you're going to have to follow the letters by code in order to get the different pattern the square. Like for example, I crochet this square and the first base is burgundy followed by lavender, gold, then lavender, and finally black. And all the squares are going to have a black border at the end, which is the letter E. So what I did for this square, once again, was 
follow the pattern and boom you got yourself different colored squares now that I have made all of my squares what you're going to do is take this yarn needle and use the same colored yarn as the border to sew the squares in order so what you're going to do is take a length of yarn like this grab a pair of scissors Now the trick to gain the yarn through the yarn needle is what I do is wet a little bit twist it like so and aim for the eye Once you have your yarn threaded through the needle what you're going to do is connect the two squares like these by using the whip stitch what you're going to do is flip your squares over with the yarn facing up like so. Then you're going to want to take your thread yarn and tie it in a knot. Make sure it's really tight. <laughs> then you're going to go ahead and get the needle through the chains like so. and keep on going until you get to the end. Now you're going to have to repeat this for all the other squares. And make sure you have enough yarn. Okay, now that I have my scarf finished, I'm going to show you how to make tassels. Now what I did was cut a piece of cardboard into this little rectangle right here. So what you're going to do is Wrap the yarn around the cardboard, stirring with the end, and then wrap it around several times vertically. Once you've done that, you're going to take this other end of yarn and get it under the bundle of yarn, like so. <laughs> Wrap it around again. Then thread the end through the loop that you created and pull it tight. And there you have your knot. Once you've done that, I'm going to go ahead and take a pair of scissors. Once you have your tassels ready, what you're going to do is line the scissors up with the cardboard and tassel and then make one nice clean cut. Okay, so once your tassel is almost complete, what you're going to do is Thread it through one of the bottom of the scars, like so. Tie it twice. And trim off the excess yarn. Now you can either leave it natural and trim the ends, or give it a more snazzy look, like these. But you don't have to if you want. And you're going to have to do all of that for both sides of the scarf. Okay, so what I have in my right hand is five squares that I crochet for my hat. But what's different about these squares is that they have four layers. First, second, third, four layers. And just like the same principle of the scarf, the bigger the square, the more layers it has. Okay, so when working with these guys, you're going to have to sew them up using the same color yarn of the border of the squares until you have a nice little dome like so.
Okay, once you have your hat made, what you're going to do is take your black yarn and wrap it around your crochet hook and single crochet twice to make a decorative trim for the final product. Okay, so what you're going to do is create a slip stitch like so. Then single crochet all the way around. Once you've done that, you're going to have to chain one, then single crochet again, and then tie it off, and sew. And there you have it, folks. Your nine square scarf set with hat. I hope you liked this video, and please type in the comments below for any more crochet videos. Thanks, bye!